Portfolios in Market System Analyzer consist of a collection of market system documents. Here I've opened three market system documents, examples 1, 2, and 3, and those are the files that have the .msa extension. So after you create a number of market system documents, you can create a portfolio. To do that, you would go to the File menu and select New Portfolio. That will open a blank portfolio document. If you right click and select Setup, this will allow you to select any number of these already existing market system documents. You click Add Market Systems and then browse to the location where those .msa files are stored and just select them. I'm going to select all three of these examples from the Examples folder under the uh, installation directory, Adapt Trade Software Market System Analyzer 3 folder, and click Open. It shows you that there are now three market systems in our portfolio. We can then click on the Settings tab and enter an initial account equity value for our simulation. And there are other options similar to what you would see in the Options tab of the Setup page for market systems. So let's click OK. The program automatically takes those three market system documents and combines them into a portfolio. Let's select logarithmic scaling so we can get a better sense of the equity curve. And it's if you want to see what it's actually doing, you can go to View Menu and select Equity Table, and that you sh that will show you the trade by trade equity. And there's a column for the market system that shows you the number of the market system. And you can see it's sorted the trades and added them together in the proper order, just the same as they would occur if you were trading these three market systems in real time. And then it also shows you the other details, the position sizing methods for each market system, the profit loss on a one contract or share basis, the position size that it used, trading costs, profit loss, and so on. Now we can also change the position sizing method for each market system in the portfolio. To do that, you select position sizing. You can double click on any one of these market systems and it will bring up the position sizing methods window. Right now they're all set to fixed fraction, but we could select any position sizing method we want and have a different method for each market system if we want. And we could select the different values. We can have the program take those values from the market system file. Or we can enter those ourselves by selecting user selected under parameter source. Or if we've done a portfolio optimization, we could select portfolio optimization for the parameter source and it would take the value from the optimal results. If you want to select the position sizing method for all of your market systems to the same method or and or the same value, you can use the set all command. And then for example, you could set each market system to use fixed fraction with a 2% risk, and it'll use that method and value for all of your market systems. You can also optimize the position sizing parameter values for your different market systems in the portfolio. For example, if we want to maximize our net profit, subject to, let's say, a 30% peak to valley max drawdown, we could click optimize. And depending on the number of trades in your portfolio, that may take a few minutes. In this case, we get the result fairly quickly. If we hit view results, we can see it came up with optimal parameters 5%, 0%, and 2.9%. That 0% means, it means it's basically found that not including market system number 2 is optimal in this case. Now with optimization of a portfolio, it's usually a good idea to go back and try that again, starting the optimization at values chosen by the program. This adds a little randomization to the starting values and may give a different result, although it will take a little longer. 
and we can also do a Monte Carlo analysis on the portfolio. We could set dependency rules for the portfolio. And if you also have dependency rules that are active in the market system document, you can check this box to deactivate those rules for the portfolio. If not, it'll apply both sets of rules, those that are in the market system files as well as the ones that you select specifically for the portfolio. In general, it does take all the settings and values and rules that are applied in the market system document and applies those when it includes the market system in the portfolio, unless you've overridden those with the portfolio settings, such as setting the position sizing method at the portfolio level. I'll have another video on, on real-time trading with MSA, but basically once you get all your portfolio settings the way you want and you want to actually trade your portfolio in real time, you would use the trade size command. You can enter a value for your current account equity. And there are some other parameters that you may need to enter for your different market systems. You enter those here. And you can scroll through the different market systems and enter the, the values as necessary. And then hit enter or calculate or click calculate position size and it will tell you the position size for the next trade for each of the market systems in the portfolio. In this case, for example, the first market system is a stock trading example. It says we should take 100 shares. Examples two and three are futures trading examples and it says one contract for market system two and two contracts for market system three. And then it tells us the total cost or margin requirements for those three trades.